Hello, this is a specimen of the uterus with the uterine cervix and this is the cervical os. Here is the left fallopian tube and ovary and here is the right adnexal structures and this is a very dilated right fallopian tube and here is the right ovary which has been slightly flipped upwards. This is the anterior surface of the uterus and again we have a very markedly dilated right tube and this is the left fallopian tube. So looking a little bit more closely at the right fallopian tube, we can see that uh, it's extremely dilated. It has not been cut into so we are not able to see the cut section but uh, we can see in this area that it is a little bit translucent, the wall is thinned and it appears to contain a quite clear fluid. This diagnosis here is hydrocelpings. Hydrocelpings is a state where there is distension of the fallopian tube, which is often filled with fluid. The fluid is usually clear or serous, and if the tube is actually dilated and filled with blood, this is called hematocelpings, or if it is filled with pus or purulent material, it is called pyocelpings. Pyocelpings can occur uh, in the context of pelvic inflammatory disease. So the causes of hydrocelpings uh, are several and it could be due to the presence of inflammation and uh, sometimes uh, there is healing and scarring and fibrosis with adhesions which may occur at the femoral end and hence cause a blockage uh, in the tube lumen. So this is often secondary to pelvic inflammatory disease from sexually transmitted infections for example and also infections and inflammation in the vicinity of the fallopian tube, for example in the case of ruptured acute appendicitis. There may also be adhesions from other reasons, for example if there is endometriosis or if there was previous surgery involving the pelvic region and there can be adhesions and this can lead to occlusion of the tubal lumen. Tumor masses can also cause occlusion and hydrocelpings. So clinically, this condition may actually be asymptomatic or the patients may have a kind of a vague pelvic pain. Importantly, in terms of the complications, this may also give rise to infertility as the passage of the egg um, through the fallopian tube is impaired. So coming back to this specimen, we can see a very markedly dilated fallopian tube on the right side and even though we don't see the cut surface, uh, it is apparent that the tube is filled with clear fluid. And this is an example of hydrocelpings. And you can see because it is likely that there is obstruction at the fimbrial end, and hence this causes proximal dilatation and distension of the tube. And hence we can work out that because of the obstruction, this can lead to infertility. Thank you.